I'm in my living room because my room is such a mess that I can't even find a corner of my room to film it effectively because it's so dirty. So anyway, today I'm gonna go through this giant bag of junk, which is all stuff that I've used, all my empties for the past few months and we're just gonna go through and talk about my empties and they're in no particular order because I did not feel like organizing them this time and I'm just gonna like dig in this bag and get them out. This is the Downy Fabric Softener in Cashmere Glow. I've had this for quite a few months and it smells so freaking good. It's so good. I don't use it on everything. I usually only use it on like my bed sheets. I stay fresh in the little like tote bin that I keep my sheets in and it smells really good and it's great and I will definitely repurchase this. This is like the third one I've gone through since this scent came out. It was the Kristoff Professional Glossing Shampoo. I got this at Ulta, oh my gosh, over a year ago. I always have like one or two shampoos. This was before I tried to use more like eco-friendly natural shampoos. I really liked it. It was nice. It was on sale. I don't know. It was fancy. Probably wouldn't buy it again because I just buy whatever. OGX, is that like a name? Do they call it something? The OGX Vitamin E Healing Conditioner. This I picked up at Walmart. It was like six bucks. I just, I know a lot of girls that use this brand and I was like, all right, let me grab one of these. So I grabbed it, liked it, used it, bought another one similar to it, just a different smell. I went through a whole thing of the Psst dry shampoo. I've used a lot of Jan I've used a lot of dry shampoos in my life. This one I liked, but I didn't love it. I think that it did a good job, but I think it kind of left some residue in my hair. Butter. This is the Body Shop Body Butter, and this is in the Smell Like Shea Butter. The Body Shop Body Butter. That is a tongue twister. I like the Body Shop Body Butter. Um, it can be a little greasy. I like it in the winter time. It's nice. It's thick. It keeps you moisturized, I think, for like a day or two, which in this Colorado dry ass air is nice, so I appreciate that. There's some of these face wipes. This one, um, the plastic thing that went over it fell off and then the little tab fell off. So that was kind of a bummer for me. But this is from the brand, um, the cream. They're like a Korean makeup brand. This was their um, like nighttime one. I don't really know what it was called. It just had like witch hazel and some other good stuff in it. I don't know if it really had a name, but I liked it. Got them at TJ Maxx. I think they were like four bucks. Definitely would buy again. The cream are some of my favorite makeup wipe removers, so these are really nice if the thing just stays on, you know? But I'm rough with my stuff, so. The next one is also by The Cream Shop. These were the cucumber cleansing ones. I really like these. The thing actually stayed on them. Got these at TJ Maxx again. That's where I always find them, and I need to go because I've been out of these wipes for like two weeks, and it's killing me. This is also by The Cream. I have a strong love for their face wipes, and this is the Chia Seed Cleansing Towelettes. As you can see, the plastic little like seal on these ones stayed, so they stay cleaner and fresher longer and moisturized, which I like, but even the ones before when they dried out, I just kept using them and I would just run them under a little water and then use them and they were perfectly fine. So these are the Skin Active Garnier My Cellular Water Face Wipes. I bought these because so many YouTubers rave about them. I missed the mark for me. I'd rather use my cream ones. These I just felt like stretch too much when you're trying to like rub them on your face and it was kind of frustrating so i'll go with my cream ones instead nothing amazing nothing hating of this it was just what it was it did its job it was nice i liked it would i purchase it again sure would i go to my way necessarily to find this exact one no used up this maybelline master fix setting spray this i think was like 12 dollars at walmart i probably will not repurchase this again I liked it but didn't love it and I noticed when I sprayed it my face after doing my makeup sometimes my eyelids would burn so I'm gonna stick to my L'Oreal one because I just like that better this is the Mario Badescu another thing a facial spray this was the rose water smell this is like their pinkish orangish kind of color one so if you get it at Ulta these are seven dollars each this one when you buy it at the store is the green one and it smells pretty good at first I didn't love the smell but it's nice and I just spray my face and now I have like three or four little things of water on my face from a BoxyCharm box. And this is by the brand Project Beauty. And this is their hair girt and strawberry banana. They're not tested on animals. They're made in the USA, which I really like supporting that. Which is a hair mask. Made my hair super soft and it was nice. I probably would repurchase this again if I like really cared about doing hair masks on my hair that much and wanted something sustainable. If my hair was drier and probably like 
hair that I cared about. Like if I did stuff with my hair, I'd probably repurchase it. It's nice, it smells nice. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And this is it's in the color 202 Creamy Natural or Neutral, Natural. Uh, I liked it. I liked the Pro Matte a lot better. I just felt like the Pro Glow broke down. I just didn't really like the way it looked on me. I'm not really into the dewy look, so it just didn't work for me. I probably won't buy it again. It just wasn't really for me. It was nice, but it wasn't. For the summertime, this foundation was a perfect color for me. It was really nice. I felt like it added some hydration to my face, let my face breathe, it wasn't heavy. I really liked it, and I kind of wish they still had this foundation, just in a wider range of shades, but they don't, so I used my CC cream instead. I used up three of my ColourPop eyebrow pencils. These are all in the color Honey Blonde. They're my ride or die eyebrow pencil. I have tried so many different types of eyebrow pencil. I've tried Anastasia Beverly Hills. Literally none of them work for me. None of them. I tried Maybelline, Revlon, I don't know. I've tried a million kinds. These are my favorite. When I order from ColourPop, I will literally order four or five at a time. They're five or six bucks. And it's what I have on my eyebrows right now. Let's get them real close to my face. Look at that, look at that. Look at that eyebrow. Look at that eyebrow. Not matching the other one. But I don't care. All from looking at like my actual hair color and then these, they match really, really well, which is important to me because as a redhead, I can either go with like a blonde eyebrow pencil and it looks okay, or I can go with like a really soft, light brown eyebrow pencil and it can look okay as well. But it always just doesn't seem to look white right and it's hard because my hair is obviously red so it's it's fucking orange but i'm not going to use an orange eyebrow pencil because then i'm going to look fucking crazy so this matches really well we'll show it again it just i think it just matches my hair really well it looks like what i would think my eyebrows would look like if i actually had eyebrow hair that showed up but all my eyebrow hair is like bleach blonde but this is the color I'd want my eyebrow hair to be. So I really like these and they're fucking great. They're easy to use. They have a little, little spoolie. So the three of these. Look, I used up two little toothpaste. These are just the Arm & Hammer Advanced White and they're in the Extreme Whitening Baking Soda Peroxide, whatever the hell. I used up one of my L'Oreal Pro Matte. This is in the color 101 Classic Ivory because I'm pale AF. The only complaint I have about this foundation is that when I travel with it, for some reason it will like exp expand and then it like explodes every time I open it. So I try not to travel with it, but I love it. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This one is the Lipstick, I think is how you actually call it, brand. It's just a beeswax lip balm. Super cute little packaging. It has like a little bee here to like, you know, push it up and stuff. Really like it got Walmart, it's like 250. The other one is a Nivea Smooth Kisses Lip Balm with SPF 10 in it. I liked it. It was super smooth. I like wearing this underneath liquid lipsticks because it's hydrating and smooth, so it makes your liquid lipstick not as dry. Also used up one of my Maybelline Fit Me foundations. This is the Matte and Poreless in the Natural Ivory, I believe. This foundation is, again, like probably my one of my favorite drugstore foundations along with the uh, L'Oreal one. I like to get the matte and poreless one just because I think it stays longer on my face and again, I don't like a dewy look. It's like seven to $10 depending on where you go. I used up a few little travel mascaras. The first one is a Too Faced Better Than Sex. I like it. I don't love Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara like most people do. I think it's like too wet when I first open a container of it and it's messy, but I like it as it dries up. I like using the little smaller ones because then it doesn't get as like gross, I guess. I used up a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This I've had for way too long. I really like the wand on this though, so I was like holding on to it even though it was all dried up and gross. And then I used a Ride or Die CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras to just finish off my eyelashes with to separate them all and then to do my bottom lashes. For some reason, CoverGirl Mascara is like the only mascara on me that I can put on my bottom lashes. It doesn't transfer or leave like the little black marks on my face. I love it. I use this all the time. For some reason, CoverGirl Mascara is the only mascara that I can really put on my bottom lashes and then knock it all gross. So I use these a lot. I found another mascara in the bottom. This is the It Cosmetics Hello Lash Extensions little mini mascara. I really like the packaging. I really like the wand that it comes with. The wand is super interesting. It has like, you can't really see anymore. It has like a little ball at the end. It helps separate out your lashes. I love this mascara. I don't know if I'll pay $23 for the full size, but I did like it. So this is another one that I was keeping in my drawer forever to remind myself that I liked it. 
but I don't know why I do that because my memory is so good I'll remember I like it anyway but you know there's that Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner in Black Fever, aka Bubonic Plague. 250. It literally stays on all day. It's super black. I love it. I buy these like three at a time at Ulta. I got two concealers for you. I got the Maybelline Age Rewind, and this is in the color Fair Light or Fair, something like that. The only thing I don't like about this is this icky little sponge on top. It can like get super bacteria, but whatever. This is usually the one I use to like tap on top of my zits to like make them as noticeable, but it does oxidize some, but I always keep it on hand. And the other one is a NYX HD concealer in the color Fair, I believe. The like lid broke on it. It was a hot mess. I really like the NYX concealer, but I found some other drugstore concealers that I think are just a little bit better or a little bit cheaper. So this isn't necessarily beauty like on your face really, but I use the whole thing of my maca powder. I've really started integrating this into my diet, like in my protein drinks or in tea at night. I like to add a little bit of maca powder to balance your hormones. It has some really good antioxidant properties and it tastes like honeycomb. I really like it. So I've been using that and I usually find it at sale on TJ Maxx or I find it when it's on sale at Sprouts. LA Colors Nude Nails. They're like 97 cents each and honestly for 97 cents like I really haven't found that are that cheap and look so good I got so many compliments when I had these nails on they're like a perfect nude color so if you're in like a pinch for some sort of event or like graduation or even like prom honestly and you need new nails I would really recommend these you have to have smaller nails to work them all the time and there's not like a million extras they're a little bit thinner than like the other fake nails you get but they worked fine for me. I liked them. I would definitely purchase these again. 97 cents, couldn't beat it. Okay, so everything else that's in my bag is actually face masks. So we're gonna go through them like real fast. This first one is by Sky and Sand. This is the Brilliant Skin Detoxifying and Brightening Face Mask. This is an Australian company and I got this in my Ipsy bag and I liked it. I would really like to purchase it. It smells really, really good, but the only problem is it's an Australian company, so they probably don't sell them here, and it's hard to ship in Australia, so it is what it is, but it was nice to try out. Oh, look, I found another thing. Of, this one is the Purifying Avocado and Oatmeal. I got this, used it, liked it, would probably purchase the tube. That's why I get these little sample sizes first to see if I like the tube of it. The other one is a clearing mask. It is sweet tea and lemon, and it's a peel-off clay mask. Um, it worked nice. I would probably purchase the full size of that as well. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask and it has tea tree oil and something I'm not even going to try to pronounce in it. I got this at Target. I like it. The smell of black African Black Soap is a little strong, but it is cruelty free. It was very slippery because it, again, has African Black Soap in it. Would purchase this again, but the brand is like, I mean, not actually that pricey, but a little pricey for the drugstore, but it looked well. Some face masks I fucking hated. This is the Burt's Bees Purifying Sheet Mask. I didn't really like the face mask. It didn't fit very well. So that was a pass for me. This face mask fucking burned the living shit out of my face. It was so painful. This is by the brand By Natural. It's a New Zealand company. And this is the Apple Stem Cell and Vitamin E Mask. It's supposed to be rejuvenating. It fucking burned the living shit out of my face. After like 10 minutes, I couldn't take it anymore and I had to take it off. Where normally face masks I'll leave on for like until they dry up and get crusty. This one is by the brand Maskology. It's their special care cream mask. I don't really know. Got this Walmart 250, liked it, didn't absolutely love it, probably won't get it again. These I got at TJ Maxx. These are by the brand FPL. I don't know, but they're hydrating gloves for your hands with shea butter, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. These were fucking amazing. I would put them on and like I even slept with one on one night. My hands were soft for like two or three days and in the winter, my hands get so freaking dry living here in Colorado. They become like crusty and flaky and have dandruff. It's disgusting. So these were amazing. And if I find these again, I'll definitely buy a bunch of them because they were super helpful. This is the Skin Food Blueberry face masks. I bought a bunch of these on Amazon. I really like Skin Foods. They're great. I'd buy them again. This is the K Bella Professional Repairing Charcoal Mud Mask. I really like this brand. I liked this one and I've tried another one before. We'll purchase this again. Got it at Walmart. And then these are all my cream face masks. I love getting the cream wipes at TJ Maxx and the face masks in boxes. So this is a pomegranate and cranberry one. Really liked it, smelled nice, thought it moisturized well, would buy it again. I used two of the turmeric face masks. They do have a little bit of a yellow tint to them. I thought they worked really well. I think they helped kind of rejuvenate my skin and help with the healing time of like acne scarring, would buy them again. These are my freaking favorite masks of all time. These are the Cream Let It Glow. These are like their holiday edition masks and I fucking love them. 
They have this little snowman on them. I found them again this year around Christmas time at TJ Maxx again. Um, I love them. They're my absolute favorite face masks. Clarifying Peppermint and Cocoa face masks by The Cream. They're really nice. They smelled really nice. Christmas kinds. They were great. And I love them. The last time I have, I've almost used all the way up, but I definitely used the sample up, so I'm going to talk about it anyway. It looks super gross. I'm sorry. This is the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. I have the full jar of it, and I'm almost out of it. It's amazing. I think that was one of the items that really helped clear up my face when I was having a lot of acne problems. I do like to put it on at night because it's kind of tacky and I noticed it didn't really react great with some of my makeup, but I loved it and I would definitely repurchase that again. If you like these empties videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future and I'll keep hoarding my trash in my room in this little Victoria's Secret bag. But if you don't like them, also let me know. Don't necessarily give it a thumbs down because that's not super nice, but just comment that you don't like them so much and I will not save all my junk because my room will be a lot cleaner and maybe I'll actually be able to film my room because my room is always a freaking disaster. And now I'm going to go clean that disaster of a room and put on some 90s pop music like in sync. Okay, bye bye. Also real quick, I got so many compliments today on my like summer outfit. Look at these nails. It's Hello Pretty is the color by Sally Hansen. Dude, I've had this nail polish on for like a week and it has barely chipped. Fucking, that never happens. I have this uh, ColourPop Prance blue eyeliner on, which my optometrist today told me I shouldn't wear it in the waterline, but like, I'm not gonna listen to him. My lipstick is a little bit worn, but it is Electric Slide by NYX, which it might be in my pocket. It sure is. NYX Liquid Lipstick, Electric Slide. Really love this. And then this shirt I got at the thrift store for $3. And it's just like bright green shirt. And I realized that it's more see-through than I realized it was. And you can see my belly button through it. So during the day I had to walk around like this at work. But anyway, I'm like summer fabulous today. And I just feel so posh. And now I have to wear glasses for the next two weeks. My optometrist said my eyeballs look like sandpaper. Because either I'm wearing my contacts too long. Or they're not getting enough oxygen. And I have to switch my contact brand. Which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to go put my glasses on and clean my room. Okay. Bye-bye.